I'm very happy to be interviewing JJ Wilson, who just finished his plenary keynote. Thank you very much for joining us, JJ. My pleasure. Um, let's start with a few things about yourself first. You've, your work is immense. You've written courses, books, even fiction books I saw mm -hmm. in your bio. And you've taught and you've lived in a lot of countries all over the world. Yes. How have these experiences <clears throat> helped you in your work? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> um, I think uh, traveling around and living in different cultures just really opens your mind. Mm -hmm. Um, it gives you lots of different perspectives on, on many different aspects of life. You know? um, of course, you, people are, in some way, people are the same everywhere you go. You know, people, they're, they're friendly, they're kind, they, they're happy to meet you. Um, but seeing all these different cultures has really um, just given me a broader vision of, of the world, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, it's something that I, I just carry with me through my day-to-day -day life and everything I do, I'm always, I have this great background of experience of, of seeing people from all over the world, meeting teachers from all over the world, and it's, I've just been very, very fortunate, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. On to your uh, plenary now. Uh, your enthusiasm was just bouncing off the walls, reflecting on the audience as well, who were very enthusiastic and taking part in your session. Mm -hmm. uh, it was about one of my favorite topics, actually, and a lot of teachers, I think, about the, the topic of motivation. Mm -hmm. um, in your classes and from the other teachers that you hear experiences from, where do you think lack of motivation comes from in students? Um, well, it depends on what type of students you're teaching. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if they're very young, maybe they don't, just don't see the point of, mm -hmm. say, learning English. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like an abstract system to them. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't know why they're doing it. They don't understand how much it will affect their future, mm -hmm. their ability or not to speak English. So part of it is just that they don't understand how important it is. Um, a second thing, I think, is that, as I was saying in my talk, People often start a course very enthusiastic, mm -hmm. and they're they're all excited to um, to be there. But then the motivation gradually drops off. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the most difficult things for for a teacher and a student is to sustain that motivation. Um, and it's really a question of students being engaged, not necessarily entertained, but engaged by the lessons. It's a question of how much the teacher cares for the student and shows how much she cares for the student. Um, and just really sustaining motivation through interesting activities and texts, through giving learners autonomy. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot to it. It's a very big subject, mm -hmm. motivation. Yeah. Um, but it's the most important subject mm -hmm. in all of education. I mean, most of education really is just looking at ways to motivate people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always been that way. Um, now we have lots of technology, of course, mm -hmm. which can motivate. Um, but even that, people, they lose interest in it, their motivation might flag, might, might get lower and mm -hmm. lower. So you have to be constantly reinventing, um, or inventing ways to keep your students interested and motivated, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a great topic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, throughout the years that you've been teaching, have you ever had, um, do you remember a totally demotivated student just transforming? You have well, that's a very good question mm -hmm. as well, yeah. Um, yeah, I've had a few of those, I've had a few of those. I think, for me, the, the, the quality of being a teacher is, is, is very much connected with, with care mm -hmm. and showing how much you care for a student. And many of the students I've come across haven't really been cared for. Mm -hmm. um, they, they haven't been loved as people, you know. They've just been one little sort of cog in a system. And I think if the, if the teacher can show how much they care about the student by, by giving feedback, by spending a lot of time with the student, then a student begins to care as well. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a very nice expression, um, the students won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Um, and I've had lots of this type of student who's come to my class already demotivated, mm -hmm. um, not really knowing why they're there, but just through 
paying them attention, mm -hmm. I've managed to just raise their self-esteem a little bit and mm -hmm. raise their motivation. Mm -hmm. So there's no one in particular, but it has happened mm -hmm. several times, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, not only are students demotivated sometimes, but we see teachers in the current world either due to financial problems or mm. problems with the direction in their schools. And so what would you advise those teachers to do in order to lift their motivation? To do what? Mm -hmm. um, well, I would advise the government to pay them a bit more for mm -hmm. starts, <laughs> administrators. I know that's not always possible. Yeah. There, are, there are lots of ways of sustaining your interest in a profession. You, you can take courses, mm -hmm. um, you can go to conferences like, like this wonderful conference, which I think can give you a little boost yeah. in terms of your own motivation. Mm -hmm. um, you can do little research projects, you can work with colleagues mm -hmm. who, will, who will build your motivation by working with you. Um, and that, that's an aspect of professional development, which is sustaining your own motivation. It's, it's not easy, particularly if you are in difficulties financially, or if you have a big family, mm -hmm. you're super busy. Um, but I think it's something you have to do. You, you have to find a way to sustain your motivation as a teacher. And a lot of that, for me, comes from the students. Mm -hmm. um, they motivate me to be a better teacher. You know, if you, I don't know if you've ever taught young children, mm -hmm. but if you go in there and there's this sort of 20 little faces looking up at yeah. you, you just want to be the best teacher you can be. Mm -hmm. It's, they're not interested in if you're having a bad day, yeah. if you're having problems at home. Mm -hmm. You have to leave all of that at the door mm -hmm. and just give of, you, give of yourself, give everything you can to your students. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, you know, I gave an example of little children, but I think it's true of all our students, yeah. ad adults as well. You have, to, you have to perform for them and do your best. Mm -hmm. That's such a beautiful epilogue to this interview that I'll leave okay. it there. Thank you okay. very, very much for this interview. My pleasure. Thank you yeah. for the plenary. It was absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank and you I hope to much. see you again in the future. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> nice, Thanks nice very to be much. Here. Thank you.